such a treat to spend all this time with you, Kay. <laughs> and uh, thanks for letting me come over and play with you. This uh -oh. is the... And we're and she's we have being, a play date, don't we? <laughs> and she's being so kind to show me stuff working at night, you know. So uh, here we go. Um, another lesson with her right. heart shape viewing views. Now this is an old pattern with a terrible name. What's his name? It's called Hearts and Gizzards. Gizzards. Yeah, I, mean, I don't call mine that. I couldn't. I just I call it a pinwheel heart, but that's the old name. So some of your viewers would recognize that name. Hearts and gizzards. Yep. Okay. And we're going to start with a half square triangle. I wonder if they invented it on Thanksgiving. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Why else would you name it? That? I, I don't, don't know. know. It doesn't remind me of that. Okay, but... we've got our background, two pieces. Then we're going to take a strip, two strips of fabric sewn together with the same colors, that's important. And here I have a piece of what we call uh, Easy Under. It's a lightweight interfacing, and you need to cut it the exact size because that makes a difference. Then we're gonna take, in this case, the four inch heart and line up the lines. So when you say cut it the exact size, you're saying use use one of your view and dues to cut it the exact size? Right. Okay. Yeah, we're not fussy cutting this time. Okay, so we line it up with the lines on, on the uh, view and do with the seam, and then we just trace around on the interfacing. That makes it a lot easier to center. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then I rotary cut these straight edges. Why just not? cut them. And, and, and you know what? I thought these were cardboard. For those of you watching, you can't tell what it feels like. But when you hold this in your hand, it reminds me of a cardboard I used to touch when I was in school. But it's actually plastic, and even though they're not clear, they're designed to be used with your rotary cutter. Oh, definitely. You wouldn't so, have them any other way. Nice that you don't have to then draw, then then take a rotary cutter afterwards, right. so it's right there. Okay, so we cut those, and then sew along the drawn edge. Remember, we put this on here and trace that curve. We're going to sew. Before you cut. Before we cut. And then, and this is similar to my technique in my book, if you guys have tried it, but different because Kay doesn't use a fusible right. interfacing. I prefer not to because I need to get in here and press to get a really nice curve and the interfacing would be fused. It would be fused. Yes. yes. Right. Okay. So when we turn it inside out, we get a heart that looks like that, but we also want one upside down from here. So we have two different hearts. So you're build, are you actually building the square with this? Nope. No, because, nope. because it's square, right? And this is not. <laughs> <laughs> then what we're going to do is take this half square triangle and line these up. And use a blanket stitch or an invisible yes, stitch? Yes, usually a blanket stitch, yeah. Okay. So you could yeah, use my just, satin edge foot for both bet. of those things. Oh, yes. Yeah, the invisible yep. and the blanket stitch. Yep. And then you just change the color. That is so cool. And it's so, so you, easy. So you did color blocking, yeah, kind of, but without without any difficulty. That right. is so cool. And that's and you can make a whole bunch. So you could do right. bigger ones and oh yeah, here's smaller ones. And, oh yeah, we could have done it with the bigger hearts. So you could have like a big one in the middle. Oh yeah, and oh. then do medium and then go out to small. Now I'm gonna have to get busy yeah. tonight, aren't I? Yeah, make one. Let's do one right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for showing us that. Oh, I know that uh, people are going to want to know where to get it. So where do you get it? You get it at katewood.com. And she's also got a cruise coming up. So if you want to cruise, she's how many do you, you how many cruises do you do a year, Miss Spoiled? <laughs> <laughs> we do at least one a year. Okay. Okay. So if you want to, if you can't go to the to, to the cruise that she has now, be sure to keep checking her site. Get on her newsletter list so that you can go on one of these cruises. Sorry for the lighting here. We're going from London to Scotland to Iceland. Pause it. Pause the screen. Then write down and go to her website. <laughs> Thanks, Kay. And she is so sweet. You guys absolutely love her. What a great time to go on a cruise with with Kay. All right, thanks again. But isn't that easy? It is. It's so cool. I love it. Bye, Kay. Bye. I can see, you, <laughs> see you again in five minutes. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of like live, but you don't have to endure us running around looking through her closets of quilts.